Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a new knife that I literally just received in the mail. Obviously, as you guys can see by the title and by what's in front of you here, this is the new knife from Olight. This is the O-Knife Drever. I'm um, hoping I'm saying that correctly. Now, if you guys follow Olight, you know that they're always doing spe uh, specials and deals and, and sales and things like that. So they actually had a sale fairly recently, which I picked up a couple of flashlights. And they had this egg that was supposed to be hatching or something like that. And everybody was speculating as far as what it was going to be. It was going to be a new item that they were going to be releasing. And it turned out to be this knife here. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up because obviously it's the first knife that Olight has made. So I wanted to be among the first to have one of their new knives uh, but also I wanted to see if um, if it would hold up to basically the reputation that OLED has with flashlights if they could transfer that over to the knives now I just received this I haven't actually had the opportunity to pocket carry it yet um, literally came in the mail yesterday didn't get a chance to open it until today um, you know open up the, the package and saw that what it was and I decided to go ahead and turn on the camera to just kind of give you a uh, quick unboxing and first impressions on it. So again, this is the O Knife Drever. Now, um, this knife was uh, it's uh, it's got an MSRP of sixty nine ninety five. Um, but I think because it was part of the sale, they were doing it for a little bit less. I, I forgot what it was. I think it was like $52 or something like that. There's actually two different color versions. They have the black one here, and they actually have a blue one, which is the one I wanted to pick up because I think it was more of a limited amount that they made. But when I got the email and when I went on the site, it was already sold out. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the black one anyway. So this is the box that it comes in. It's a very typical Olight box. If you guys follow Olight, you know that they're really cool. Um, their packaging is always really nice. Has a, um, a good representation of the product right in the front there, and then some information in the back. If you guys are, you know, want to pause that and take a look at it, that's what it is. But we'll go ahead and talk a little bit about it. So this is a sleeve that you actually slide out. All right, so that slides right out, and then you have again the. O knife logo right there, and this has a little tab in the bottom here that you pick up. I get to it. There you go. Pick that up, and then underneath the tab, it has uh, this little. Um, it's almost like a blade, and it has uh, that um, the wording there says each O knife is finely tuned by hand and expertly engineered for the best possible performance. Stay sharp with your new O knife, the O knife team. So that's pretty cool. Again, um, OLED is really well known for their packaging, so that's really cool. Now this was a surprise to me just because I didn't really research a lot about the knife, but it does come with this pouch here, which is pretty nice. And then underneath here, you have a little bit more things. So it says, thank you at the bottom of the box there. You do have, let's see, how do we get into this? Uh, okay, there we go. So you have a cleaning cloth, all right? Nice gray cleaning cloth, and it has the logo right there. And then, um, I guess, instructions. <laughs> Uh, content, instructions, you know, some information on the knife itself as well. So we'll set all this stuff off to the side here. And then here is the pouch, really nice pouch. It feels really nice quality. Again, you have the logo stitch on the front right there, Velcro closure, and as you open it up, it's uh, kind of felt lined in there, so that's cool. And then here is the knife. And then from what I've seen, you do get, yep, there it is. Um, this knife actually comes with a coin too, so Go ahead and open up the coin so we can take a look at it. Really nice. Um, it almost feels like a uh, like a brass coin, um, but it just says Drever. Uh, again, I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly, and it has the knife kind of crossed right there. And then in the back it says Outdoor Elite 2021 O Knife. So really, really cool. Again, nice, cool um, added bonus. I didn't even know that this came with it. And there's actually a little pocket right in the inside of the case here that the coin slides into so you can always keep it right in there so that is cool so we'll set that to the side and take a look at the knife here so again this is the Drever um, from Olight and it is deemed the O knife so um, it's a little it's a lot smaller than I expected it to be um, smaller in the sense of um, all around the, the the diameter of the knife itself. I ho I'm hoping I'm uh, making sense. Uh, I thought it was going to be thicker, fatter, basically, but it's nice and slim, which is really nice. So obviously you have some nice polished G10 handles, and the handles are also contoured, so it um, 
it feels really nice in the hand, which is cool. So this is obviously the black G10 one, and then you have blue hardware. So you have the pivot screw right there is blue. The thumb studs, dual thumb studs are blue as well. And then the blue deep right pocket clip. OLED is really good at doing um, anodizing, especially when it comes to different vibrant colors and stuff like that. So I really like the fact that they, um, I kind of did this in the blue, it just sets it, sets it apart instead of just having, you know, black hardware and stuff like that that kind of gets lost because the blade is also black. So you do have a flipper tab right there, a little bit of jimping on the flipper tab and oh wow, <laughs> definitely flips really, really nice. So this is the blade shape right here. As you guys see, it has some oil and stuff on there. So I'll clean that up later. Uh, it is supposed to be, I want to say, a modified sheep foot um, blade, which I do like. I like that blade shape. I think it's very utilitarian, especially for EDC tasks. And on the blade, you do have the logo right there. And then on the top corner right there, you do have the blade steel, which is N690. And then let's see what you have. Okay, a driver on the other side. And then some numbers right there, which I'm not sure what they are. Uh, you also have a nice um, big uh, finger choler right there, so if you do have to choke up on the blade to do some finer cutting tasks and stuff like that, you can. A little bit of jimping on the thumb right there, which makes it um, pretty comfortable, which is nice. And then um, it is a liner lock, really easy to engage. And then you do have a kind of cutout right there to get to the thumb stud if you want to use the thumb stud to open it, but also to get to the liner lock to disengage. Very, very smooth. Um, I believe this is riding on um, washers, so it's gonna make it a lot smoother to, to deploy, which is really nice. Couple specs on the, uh, the blade itself, again, on the knife itself. N690 blade steel, G10 handles. Um, the liners, and again, I'm reading this off the OLED website. The liners, it does have skeletonized liners. The liners and the pocket clip are 3CR13 stainless steel. Uh, as far as the weight on the knife goes, it's 3.42 ounces. So again, it's not too bad for EDC um, carry. Um, it, it feels nice and light, which is really good. Um, you obviously have a flow through design right there, so it makes it easier to clean and stuff like that, but that cuts back on the weight. Overall length is 7.99 inches, so almost eight inches. The blade length is actually 3.49 inches, and then the handle is 4.5 inches. So um, I would say about a medium sized knife. Um, Again, you know, on my hands, I get a full four finger purchase all around it. And even more so if I have to choke up on the blade, which um, that finger troll lets you do that. Again, the blade closes nice and smooth. Very, very nice. Nice detent also. Um, when you deploy with the flipper there, it um, comes out very nice. So um, as far as the carry, again, it is a deep right pocket clip. Tip up carry, right hand only. So again, um, something to note. Uh, really, really comfortable. All right, by way of comparison, I'm gonna bring in my Benchmade bug out. A lot of people know the size of the bug out, so obviously you'll be able to estimate the size here next to the driver. So let's say end to end right there. It is a tad bit shorter, um, but if you bring it up to the actual blades, um, the blade uh, length is almost the same. And then here they are. Um, top, to, you know, so again, um, the bug out is a very, very thin knife. As it is, the blade is very thin, so um, the driver isn't that much thicker, which is really nice. But again, pretty pretty similar as far as uh, carry. Obviously, the pocket clip's a little bit shorter on the bug out, but um, you know, it's it is what it is. Um, I I really like it. You know, first impressions. I think this is uh, it's a good initial outing from um, Olight. Uh, as far as transitioning from the flashlight world into the knife world. Uh, I know a lot of times companies that um, kind of focus on one particular type of, um, of item. So if you only make flashlights and you try and make knives, they, you know, it's, it's always hit or miss. Um, but I think uh, because Olight has been around, um, you know, the EDC uh, community, so they, you know, it's all obviously they are around knives and stuff like that. So they know what people want. They know what works. So they know um, what type of products to bring out. So obviously, um, you know, very excited to see where they take this into the future. Uh, you know, if they kind of tend to follow suit with the way that they do with the flashlights, maybe come out with a smaller version. Um, maybe different anodized colors and stuff like that. Obviously, 
you know, the sky's the limit, especially with them, because they are known for doing that kind of stuff. And then they're always doing sales. So that's why it's always good that if you like a company, you follow them, especially in their social medias and stuff like that, uh, just to see what new things come out. And I was uh, pretty happy to go ahead and pick this one up. So again, this is just a quick look, uh, initial impressions on the new O-Knife from Olight, the Drever. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.